I am Anil Kumar. Let me really appreciate the efforts of our members of the WhatsApp group, Free Math Solutions. So there are students who are providing us questions. For example, we'll discuss this particular question now, right? So this was posted at 444 and this solution was posted at 450 by another brilliant student, right? So, and then he even provided the steps and the concepts to solve that particular question. Do you see that part? So, so that's the beauty of our free maths solutions. People are really working hard to provide excellent solutions to some of the difficult test problems, right? So the idea here is to perform better once we understand these strategies. So I've again taken up a very similar question, right? And the question here is, n is a positive integer which when divided by 5, 7, and 11 gives remainders 4, 6, and 10 respectively. Find possible value of n. Four choices are given to you. You can now pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions, right? Now, these type of questions are very popular. Let's see the strategy to solve them. So, n is a positive integer, and when we divide n by 5, then what we get is a remainder, which is, which is 4. When I divide n by 7, the remainder, what remains, is, is uh, 6. And is divided by 11, the remainder is given to you as what? 10. You notice that this is 1 less than the divisor, right? So 4 is 1 less than 5, right? You see 5 minus 4 is 1. You also see 7 minus 6 is 1. And 11 minus 10 is also 1. That shows you what? It really means that we are looking for a number which is 1 because see when you divide by 5 and get a remainder of 4 that really means that the number is 1 less than 5 right 5 multiple right so that means the number n is 1 less than common multiple or these divisors which are 5, 7 and 11. Do you get the idea? So if I have a number which is a multiple of these numbers, then that will give you no remainder. However, the remainder is going to be less than 1 less than the divisor only when this common multiple minus 1 is the number, right? So the number should be what? The number should be 5 times, these are all prime numbers, right? 5, 7, and 11. So when you multiply them, what do you get? 5 times 7 is 35. So 35 times 11, just add 35, 35. So you get 385, right? So it is 385. So we are looking for answer, which should be not 385, but minus 1, which is 384. However, we do not have that kind of a number here. We have 389. Now what to do? That's the question. So now we have to try the next multiple, right? So the common multiple times 2 is what? Let's multiply this by 2. So if I multiply this by 2, 5 times 2 is 10. Double of this number, basically. 16 and 117, 1. We get 770. Now from 770, which is again a common multiple, we'll take away 1. And what we get here is 769. So 769 should be the solution. Do you see that? Which is our option C. Now the idea is that these types of questions have appeared so many times. And most of the students know how to answer it. If I put this variation, that is, I'm not asking for the least number, right? I'm asking for a number which will satisfy the given condition. Then in that case, you have to find the common multiple and then less one will give you the answer 
as we did in this particular solution. So I hope you understand this technique. So the whole idea here is to understand solutions to the questions which have appeared earlier and also figure out how the test question could be twisted in times to come and how do we still answer the same modified question in less than a minute. So if you join our WhatsApp group, you're going to get feedback from many brilliant uh, members of this group and also the YouTube channel will provide you with practice questions to similar problems. I hope that works for you. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be amazing. Thank you and all the best.